Hi everybody and welcome to The Huddle. In today's episode we're going to be talking about relationships and our own individual perspectives about them. Also we're going to get a little bit into how to think like a man or the lack thereof considering most of us don't think a woman can think like a man at all since most men don't know how to think like men anyways. So with that being said, I am your main guy today, Matthew, at Matt Scorpio if you want to find me on Twitter. Spell it exactly the way it sounds. And we have Jason. Yo, what's up, people? At JJNBA, all letters. All letters. Don't forget that. And we have Wolf over here. What's up? Wolf in HD. That is his actual name, by the way. It is Wolf. It's not a nickname. In case you're wondering. This is true. Then we have our resident white guy. You know, for the, for the other side perspective. And his name is Zach. From the neighborhood honky checking in. Known as Epi, good man, Lumber Zach, Hills Creek, it's all the same. He doesn't have Twitter though. I don't know why. Because he's a real man, apparently. Not the white people, apparently. <laughs> white people, man. You gotta <laughs> love white people. But like we're all approaching our mid twenties, like how has shit really changed? Hell no. Yeah. From like college days to now, like shit's pretty much the same. Well, no, I, I'm in a relationship. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, man, that, that yin and yang thing is not going to hold up. Fucking, like, the second this guy gets in a relationship, I'm seeing multiple people. Where it's always the other way around. It's I was always just it's fucking weird, doing whatever the hell I wanted, man. <laughs> Having sex with bitches left, right, and center. Who cares? The good old days of Dawson. Oh. Yeah, man, I was that fucking... I man. love Dawson. This fucker would make fun of me for taking chicks out to coffee. <laughs> like, oh, There'd be some like nice girl right next to him too, just like, he's, like, oh, he's being I, a gentleman. He's like, fuck. I met, I met this chick in class. They're like, Are you fucking yet? <laughs> like, no, I just met her. It's like, that's no excuse. <laughs> Take her upstairs, dude. Yeah, man, man you're bad in the freaking Dawson dog. I don't know how you got away with some of the bullshit he came up with. Or if a girl had a man that. Information was irrelevant. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> unless, unless the rule was if she told me, then I back the fuck off. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. to me it's like, look, if you have a man, you will tell me. You say like that's how it works, man. Like people are like, oh, she has a boyfriend. How do I believe you? You could just be saying because you don't want me to get with her. Mm. You know, like you could just be like pulling the boyfriend card because you're a douche or you're a cockblock. Yeah, but you can't doubt. There's more times than one that I come on and be like, yeah. So what's the deal with that chick? I'm like, ah, she's seeing somebody. I'm like, so. <laughs> So? That's, been <laughs> that's been your answer. Hey, well, she ain't see you yet. Like that, that's all it is. <laughs> Have you met him? <laughs> What's he look like? Actually, yeah. Now the, the, the only issue, the only issue I had with that is that I couldn't be pulling. I couldn't go out with a girl in in CJ, and that's the mistake I did. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, I, uh, I, my first CJ? two semesters yeah, there, I was CJ? I was with someone, and it didn't work out. No. W- me in a certain way it didn't work out to a certain point but you know having the person in CJ that you know who you're dating with and you're seeing her every single day <laughs> oh yeah like <laughs> if you're in the same place then uh, <laughs> hell no no but you see that's, that's the thing we're, we were there we're always together each other all the same time in, in, in Dawson and you guys are practically married okay let's not push it <laughs> <laughs> no but like what I'm saying is, is that is that you can't do that Dawson like you can't do that in CJ at all. You have to be dating someone who's outside of the school or who goes to a different school I think on the other side of the Not only that, you can't do that, period, because, I mean, if you're with someone every single day, regardless of, like, how old you are or what you're doing in life, it will cause problems. That's the why same I, shit as dating co workers. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, I feel like at work, the people who have businesses together, they're, they're together, I'm like, that's... Well, you drive there together or something, that's a little bit too much. I do yeah. not mix business and pleasure. I did it once and never again. It happened. <laughs> it did not end well. <laughs> <laughs> Lessons learned is all I have to say. Man. <laughs> I don't know. If it's up front, you'd be surprised. If like every, both parties are up front, shit could work out. We it's were. A risk, but... But then somebody catches feelings, man. And it's usually the woman. I'm not. I'm being honest. It's true. Yeah. Though it's I do true. know a situation where a guy caught feelings, and to this day, we all kind of look at him weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not me. Fucking that one guy in the cafeteria. He's like, you, you really, you really have to ruin it for the rest of us. <laughs> no, <laughs> but it happens, man. Well, like I was saying, yeah. It's usually, I'm not saying this to be disrespectful or anything, but women they have like they're more sensitive to that whole bullshit and everything like that, and they're the ones who catch the feelings. True. And it's like 
No, but if you, yeah, if you, if you both kind of stonewall the same way, just like, you know, business is business, pleasure is pleasure, keep it like that, and then, like, separate. I mean, like, I know, I don't want to go into specifics, but uh, I've dabbled in that area. It's such a thin line, though. It's risky. I mean, like, I, like... Because the thing, too, is, like, you'll, you you can't not have those moments of temptation when you're working, where, like, you see them wearing something that's a little bit tighter than usual Especially and you know there's a bathroom that's empty <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like things like that and it's just it really messes up things the, the, the best thing to do is like um, just uh, date a girl outside of the well your outside area, your, outside your area not not your comfortable area like you know you can hang out with your boys all day and everything you like you're fine keep them out the circle keep them out the circle that's, that's exactly right keep them out the circle and you're gonna be hey safe. that's where I got lucky man I met my girl and she knew absolutely nobody I knew and I was shocked <laughs> and amongst other things especially in Montreal <laughs> yeah especially yeah. in like you can't fucking walk down two the blocks small there, pond of Montreal <laughs> where I met the one chick who knows absolutely nobody I know and what a luxury <laughs> that's a rarity and that's actually pretty good too yeah, yeah. Um, cause once you oh god I'm, I'm like a book dog <laughs> like say like once you know someone that knows all your friends or your friends know this person that you're dating whatever it just starts to spread and oh, people yeah. talk and talk and it's like, oh. like yeah Montreal is like everybody knows everybody no matter you can live in the West Island you can live South Shore downtown doesn't matter everybody knows everybody from sports from social events you know going out stuff like that in school like we all just know each other and then social media just made it so much worse oh, yeah. to oh, the yeah. point where it's like you literally <laughs> the know only people that you didn't know yeah like the people that you didn't know you knew now you know them <laughs> no, it fucking amplifies the risk factor yeah I've yeah, yeah, seen you on my timeline like, a couple times <laughs> if, if you fuck up people will know oh, and yeah. that's the thing like here we like to spread the information too much yeah you know it's like one little thing happens and guaranteed by the end of the day and it could be 10 o'clock at night by 12 a.m., everybody knows what happened. And it's messed up like that. That's yeah, it ties back into the whole work and go uh, student situation, yeah. too, man. It's like, not only is, like, your social life in jeopardy if things go south, but, like, professional life could be in jeopardy fucking, yeah, school. Yeah. I mean, like, when you look at that business and pleasure thing, you know, it's, you may have, like, that one person that you see, but then there's somebody else that's attracted to you. And, and oftentimes, with the business and pleasure, it's, it's secret. Nobody knows about it because chances are it's forbidden or frowned upon at the very least. And so you keep it quiet. You don't want people to know that you're having sexual or physical relations with this person. And then what if somebody else starts flirting with you, you know? What if word spreads that this person has a crush on you and that person who's telling it is the person that you're having your secret relationship with, you know? Things like that happen, and it just makes it so much worse. <laughs> Work was already bad enough. Like, it's exactly. Bad enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've already been tiptoeing. Now I got to tiptoe yeah. around this. Like, come on. Yeah, you're already living a double life. Now it starts to get like a triple, fucking <laughs> quadruple. I don't know why I am anymore. <laughs> and just that friction gets created. You know, it's such a tight, very, very. Thin yeah, you don't want to be. You don't want to be uncomfortable out of that. Like. I always say that you don't want to like be uncomfortable heading home. You should never be uncomfortable heading to workplace or something like that. Like, oh, if you're having a bad day, it should be because like oh, your boss is on your ass, not because like exactly the chick you bang is giving you weird. <laughs> I mean, things. that's that should be the central complaint: boss is on your ass. You know, like every time you look over your shoulder, your boss is right there sniffing on your neck. You know, like what the hell? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if like my well, my situation recently is that obviously, yeah, I dated this girl, like. uh why well, I, I know her like me and her were close for a year a number of years and everything like that but it's like you can't keep that person too close what I'm saying is that everyone knows both of us we all both know each other and everything like that but the thing that we did was we didn't tell anyone that it was going on but I find it in a certain way is that if everyone knows us already there's no point to hide something like that like the what what could be said that's bad or anything like that? What's uh, what's going on? Because how how can I say this? Like uh, like it, like say for example you're dating a girl and um, you both know each other for years on end, but you decide to keep it quiet. But everyone you know is like your friend, their friends, everyone's friend, but you keep it quiet. Yeah, person, everybody in your circle. Knows everybody each in other. the circle already knows. 
they're basically part of your circle. You two yeah. are part of the circle. So I don't see the point of hiding it from everyone that's in the circle. I find it's more stress to hide it from people in the circle than just saying it and keeping it out there. That's I mean, the thing too, like, like, what good does it do? Yeah, like, that's, that's another tricky thing about relationships within the circle, you know? It's, how's it going to affect? A lot of times people will be against it because if there's a split, it'll hurt the circle, you know? True. Nobody wants to choose sides. So it's just a matter of figuring out how this relationship can work or if it doesn't work, what will happen afterwards, you know? And a lot of times you got to really set up yourself for the negative to make sure that if it does come, it's the most positive negative possible. But from the other side, though, say it doesn't work, like, in the circle, right? And everybody else didn't know about it. If they knew about it, they'd probably, you know, want to keep it together, like, oh, yeah, you definitely. know what I mean? Like, like, definitely. like, oh, no, no, you know, work it out, you know, talk it out. Don't break up the circle, yeah, no, you know, you got all this pressure on the relationship. And Personally, I'm not into that whole secret relationship, yeah. unless it's just, like, a fuck friend. Yeah. No, if that's it, it's like you don't got to tell the whole world about a fuck man. But if you're in a serious relationship or if you consider it serious, then that's something that I think shouldn't be secret. Because why are you keeping it secret? What's the point of keeping it well, that's secret? Thing. If it's a close circle, then it's probably a close group of friends. So if that person, like, says a chick and, like, she's already your friend, then there it's basically go. just, like, a test of that friendship about how well you know each other to know that, like, Look, if shit goes south, it doesn't fuck up the circle or blah, blah, blah. I mean, all, all the only addition is what? You're sticking your dick in her? <laughs> <laughs> that's, but that's what, I mean, that's what I mean by going back to the point where you see you see a girl, and it's it, in my experience, what I've seen, I'm not saying this is for everyone, what I've seen is the girl is the one. The, like, what I could say, she's expected the re- from the beginning of the relationship, she's like, she expects it to fail. I'm not sure if that and makes she sense. She should have never got into it to begin with. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure if that makes sense. No, no, no. That, make, that makes sense. A lot of people have those like, fatalistic tendencies where they, yeah. they can only see it going downhill and that's why they don't want to go any further or some shit like that. Yeah. And I find that, I find that sad in a way. I understand to a certain point, but if you're going to see, if you're going to get to that point and you're going to just keep doing that all the time, you're not going to find no one. Oh, they, well, yeah. Like, <laughs> some people are just <laughs> naturally <laughs> cynical. That's something you can't help. Yeah. But at the same time, it's it's on them. They have to figure out when they're going to be ready to actually give their all into anything. And a lot of times it happens where they actually gave their all into something and it just completely blew up in their face. And that's something you can't help. But at the end of the day, it's like they have to come to the terms of it to themselves. Yeah, and that's that. But even the kind of person who gets broken up on, like the guy who or girl who gets dumped on, could go in my experience, like, you know, you date a girl for who knows how... Well, Length is not a problem, but what I'm saying is, like, date a girl for who knows Couple amount of time, months, you know, weeks, you months, get months. to know her, you do this for her, you go that for her, blah, 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 and out of the blue, like, oh, I can't see us being together anymore. I'm like, I just got pimped. I was like, the fuck <laughs> is this? No, it, it, I, I felt dirty. I felt like, I, I feel like I need to take a shower and go home. I'm like, what the fuck is this? You <laughs> used. I just got used. That, no, that's how I see it. I see it like, you date a girl for this amount of time, and... If it, if well, put it like this. Did you get the poon? Yeah. Then you good, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you hit it more than once, you good. Well, then, yeah, you got to ask yourself, what does you want out of it in the future? That's true. Did you get uh, everything that you wanted out of it? But you see, that's the thing. I think... But not like that. Did you get, at least get the bare minimum? I got the bare minimum. Then you good, man. The bare minimum. But <laughs> the thing is, you can say, you can say, yeah, you caught, I caught feeling, whatever, whatnot, but... That person who I, who I feel that, you, whatever relationship, a guy or girl, that if the person doesn't want to try after, like, say, a week or or two years together, I find that person's a, 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 a quitter. A person, they did you a favor. Good point. Like, that person doesn't want to try for the relationship. I'm like, then why did you get into it in the first place? You're just quitting. It's like, people... People don't talk with each other anymore. They just like think they just see what's on Facebook and what other people listen say. They get these ideas in their head. People put ideas in their head, and a lot just... of times though, it's better to not get an answer. You know, we always want to know everything, but sometimes it's better just not to know. You s- know exactly what happened up to that moment. There's no explanation as to why it happened, but you're better off because and you got to leave it at that. No, the more you ask questions, the more you soul search and try to figure out 
which dot didn't connect is just going to drive yourself insane. Like, forget that. This is where it ended. It's unfortunate. There's no concrete reason as to why it had to end that way, but it did. Time to move on. Yeah. Would it have been easier had you know that shit might have ended that way? Like, like, look, this is just like a day-to-day thing. Can't guarantee it's going to go any further, and then you just fucking, you know, live it as is, knowing that, like, any time it could end. I see it being straight honest from the beginning. Because for a person to actually break up with you within, out of the blue like that, that means they had it from the, in their head, like, straight up, this is not going to work from the, from the start. Yeah, it could be more, it could be many things. And, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a combination of a whole bunch of stuff. But it's like, if you're going to do, like, right on the spot, like, out of the blue, no reason, you know, it's not something that escalated or anything like that. Just say everything was going good, and one day it just ended like that. That's, I don't know if I'm being crazy, but that's how I find that person a quitter. I don't know. I, I've, 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 yeah, I've had that <laughs> argument before. Where but I'm it's like, one of those things where, like, I'm telling you, it's like, the way you see them, see them that way. Because if they're not going to give you a reason to disprove it, then there's no reason to continue asking if that's what they truly are. Man law. <laughs> <laughs> Consider it man law. Man law, right there. But yeah, no, I've, I've had that. I've had that conversation before, and like when it comes down to it, yeah, it's like that whole fatalistic uh, sort of thing. It's like oh, where things are going to go? They're just going to get like more involved and to the point where like if we end it now, it's a conversation. We end it like. Later on, it could be somebody's house gets burned down. But like, <laughs> whoa, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, what? I met some people. All right, <laughs> we know what can happen.